Hey everybody, it's your girl Debbie and this is Artist Hustle TV. Today I am giving you eight great tips on artist development. Make sure you like this video and subscribe for more marketing, promotions, and branding tips for musicians and artists. I am, it's really late at night right now. I'm just in the kitchen like, look, <laughs> look who's beside me. Look who's beside me. Say hey. She's not saying hey. She's having her midnight snack. But anyways... Let's get into the tips. Tip number one is you want to work on your interview skills. You want to grab a camera, find someone to interview you, whether you have interviews coming up or not, you want to do this on a daily basis. Find out exactly what you're going to say, what inspires you. Just have kind of standard questions and answers for everything you want to talk about. Think about the things that the media could ask you about what's going on, your opinions. If you want to share your personal life, talk about that. Don't talk about that. No comments, whatever you want to do. Be media trained. Some of the best in the business know exactly what to say to press and in the interview. So that's really important for you to understand. Tip number two is make sure you think about your live performances and your stage presence. That's one of the biggest things artists deal with on a regular basis is performances. So what you want to do, just like what I was saying, tip number one is grab a video camera and record your all your videos. I don't care where you record, what type of camera, record every performance and critique it. Literally everything that you do, what you could do better, what you did great, what the audience reacted to. Think about everything. Work on your choreography. And this doesn't only mean just dancing because I'm a dancer and I remember my choreography. I knew every single step. But even if you don't dance, you need to know where you're going to be at on the stage. Every time you're on the stage, whether you're introducing people, whether you're transitioning, you need to know every single part of your set down to a T. Tip number three is be confident and train yourself to build inner confidence. And if you have to listen to motivational videos or books or stay around positive people, do that. But you have to develop an inner like ego, an inner self-confidence. It doesn't have to be arrogance. Now, if it does, it is. I mean, some artists, is they're arrogant and it is what it is but you want to have confidence you want to know that you can do this you are it so make sure you build up that self-confidence on a daily basis because this is a hard business you need to be tough and all that good stuff be courageous all that good stuff so build that confidence tip number four is surround yourself with great people based on what you want to do with your dreams and your goals Great people are very hard to find, and as an artist development, whether it's a vocal coach, a producer, a promoter, a manager, anybody that can help you and coach you and give you advice and help you along this journey is a great way to develop yourself as an artist. Tip number five is continue to work on your crafts. Learn something new every single day. Challenge yourself. If there's something that you don't know how to do, learn it. Never be scared to step outside your box. You know, forget the box. You know what I'm saying? Like, blow up the box. I don't care. But challenge yourself and do something different every single day if you possibly can to just be creative, okay? And that's why you're in this business. I mean, you're you're creative, right? So use that creativity and think outside the box. Tip number six is have specific goals based on what you want to achieve. A lot of artists come to me and they talk to me and they're like, yeah, I want to do shows. I want to do music. I want to put out videos, but they don't even have a plan. I will ask them five simple questions and they will get it. They were like, oh, I didn't think about that. Oh, I didn't. You got to have a specific plan. Who, what, where, where, why, how. Think about that and actually write out the plan, put it in your phone. I don't care how you do it, but have a specific plan and continue to start executing on that plan on a daily basis until it's achieved and just keep on making them. I'm telling you. Tip number seven is don't worry about perfection especially in the beginning. It's all about effort. It's all about execution, execution over everything. Okay. It's not about talking. It's not about, yeah, I'm going to do that. You need to show people. And I'm all about that. Like with artists, hustle, I'm just like, I got to put it out there. People say, Oh, you, you know, what do you do? And I'm like, let me give these advice. Let me give out these tips. Even if I'm hurt right now, I sprained my ankle and I don't have my crutches, but I can't walk right now. So I'm sitting in a chair, like, I'm sitting in a chair right now, but I, and my foot is, is messed up. My foot, <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but my foot is messed up right now. And it has been since over the July 4th weekend, but I am dedicated to this. And it doesn't matter how many viewers, it doesn't matter what's going on. You got to keep 
keep executing on your goals and your dreams. And the last tip, tip number eight is be yourself, know yourself, and don't worry about what other people are doing. Now, this is a hard thing for myself. I don't know about you, but honestly, you always think about, you kind of check out other people's stuff and see how long they've been doing it compared to you. And you're just like, oh crap, I'm not going to be able to do it, but you can. And you have to Believe in yourself. You have to be yourself. Don't try to be anybody but yourself. Know yourself. Develop yourself. Continue to grow as an artist and as a person. You know, give back if that's a part of you. If that's not a part of you, do what you feel is best. Don't just take any and everybody's opinions on what you should be doing. You trust your gut and trust what you really believe in, and that's what you should be doing. So I hope that this video helped you out. Make sure you like it and share. And if you have any other tips on developing yourself as an artist, definitely let me know. And I'll see you on the next video. All right, bye.